So, you know, I'm just sitting here playing around and all of a sudden the nightmare I had about Minecraft, yes, if you play enough, you start dreaming about them, is coming true. I don't know if you can see just uh, below the A in Minecraft, that illager, villager, what's the pillager? The pillager running through. <sighs> I was hoping this wouldn't happen in this world. I'm not prepared. Stop trying to kill my guys. Stop trying to kill me. Great, now I killed my horse. Oh good, my horse survived. Good thing I got diamond armor on it. <laughs> now what I want to do here is kill the captain with fire as opposed to shooting him because I don't want the thing the bad thing on me I don't have any milk stop it captain I know how to solve this problem I'll go to sleep <laughs> run away run away they're gonna stay there even if it's dark as aren't they they are oh you <laughs> Here's a free bed. Okay, I've eaten. Sleeping. <laughs> the pig's watching me. You're out. No help, pig. Oh, good. The trader showed up. Um, let's get. Tell me, I have a possible way of getting a flint and steel to set that stupid fool on fire. Got tons of flint. <laughs> do I keep iron with me? No, I do not. <sighs> I wonder if I can get this guys to follow me out of here. Uh, yeah, I was totally not prepared for any of this to happen. Hey, you got any steel on you? Yeah, oh, you're useless. It looks like my village is mostly okay though, so that's good. I also like how these things go. don't get mad until you shoot them in the face. Yeah, so I had a dream last night that was, like, insane. Like, I was just kind of wandering through one of my builds when a, <laughs> when a Ravager just appeared. Don't shoot me in the butt. That's hardly fair. I'm trying to get them away from me so I can shoot these guys without shooting my horse. And also so I can get on my horse. Apparently, I need to shoot better. Okay. Careful. All right, now. Okay, I haven't started a race. I haven't killed any captains yet. So that's good. <laughs> Why don't you jump in the fire, buddy? That'd be helpful. I don't want him to go that way. Wait a minute. Let's see how my buddy over here fares against the iron golem that's over there. As I leap off my horse. Very helpful. Hey, will you turn into a drowned? Go out to the edge of the world. <laughs> Get him, kitty! What the? What are you shooting at? Glad those things shoot like got stormtroopers. I'd be in trouble if they could aim. There we go. Follow me, idiot! <laughs> so apparently over here they will spawn <laughs> those those parties will spawn good to know <laughs> I was kind of thinking <laughs> hey maybe it won't be a problem did the idiot follow me oh the idiot didn't follow me Let's see if I can get him over I ran too fast <laughs> that's how I win this game I run away run away hey, what are you doing here God.
Now where'd that guy go? Did he stay over there? Is he hiding in the stupid tall grass? I hate tall grass. Did he despawn when I ran super fast? <laughs> Okay, I don't see him around anymore. I just see a donkey butt. Dang it, donkey. Stop mooning me. Okay, well, that was a bit of excitement I wasn't expecting. A lazy afternoon. Wait, is that him? Did he just pop up? Oh, nope, another donkey. What's with the donkeys around here? Donkeys and pigs, as far as the eyes can see. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, back to our regularly scheduled program. Welcome back to Monotonous Minecraft, episode 54. Whew, now that that excitement is out of the way, uh, let's start in this loud spot. Maybe we should take a. Let's start in this loud spot with all these sheep! <laughs> What I got here is a Sky. Hey, Sky. I don't know how to play this game. Uh, what I have here is a, a sheep farm, a wool farm, I should say, uh, designed by Zumavoid, um, which uh, seemed to work a lot better on uh, PC Java than it does on console. So, yeah, you kind of have this water loop. I'll link to it in the description. I mean, it works pretty good. It was a little bit of a pain to set up. I just don't think the the sheep flow as well. You can see that I uh, I have long sh long pathways of water, whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call those things, rather than the short ones he had, because they don't really push each other. They walk backwards all the time. Now it's producing pretty good. That's that's almost a lot. That's almost a double chest before I added this other double chest. Uh, but quite frankly, I think the other one works better. This little single module over here that I got from Waddles again, remember? Um, got almost a full double chest. And as you can see, that was six shears. You know, six shears gives you almost a full double chest. Now this was like half a chest ahead of that. Uh, but if you think about all the different colors I have in there, because they do have all 15, even though there's a shortage on pink, apparently. Some of my sheep died, and then I produced so many of them they wouldn't all fit. So in a future episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this one out to have individual cells for all the different colors. And I think I'll just link it off of one observer. As opposed to doing each one of these things that have, the, you know, the 16 observers and the 16 dispensers. We'll have all the dispensers. Um, but we'll just take a line off this redstone and just connect them all so they all go at once. Um, it won't be as efficient, but it should work out pretty well. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is blowing stuff up. What? So I've got a decent amount of gunpowder saved up. I got some sand here. I got chests of sand everywhere else. And I got this mountain at a distance. That mountain offends my eye. So let's blow that mountain to the gr ground. <laughs> and let's do it the fun way. So in the past I've used it, you know, just kind of climb it up and dig in some holes and yeah, it works okay. Oh, I forgot that it was that hopper was full. Uh, I was very confused. Uh, not that much. Um, and it works okay, but it's not very efficient, and there's a lot of manual cleanup to do. So we're going to use the classic fill a bunch of dispensers up above the thing you want to blow up and blow it up that way method. Uh, patent pending. <laughs> Is that a great name or what? A uh, lot of people have been doing this since the beginning of, well, not beginning of Minecraft, but since all the options were there. Um, I'm going to get a few stacks of TNT. I don't know how much it'll take. I don't know if I'll build it properly. Um, but it'll be fun to kind of play around with. So let me go ahead and craft up, uh, hey, wait a minute. That's not tea. That's not gunpowder. Oh man, I don't need any more of this. I need more sand. Um, since I can't obviously do, you know, anything and, and talk at the same time. Let me uh, craft up a bunch of gunpowder, grab my other supplies, and uh, meet you over there by the mountain. As I race my horse out here to the mountain in the distance, let's talk about what we're going to do. 
So the general idea is you make a grid of dispensers pointing down, you link them all up with some redstone, and you trigger that redstone. I got a button, because I didn't have any levers, I was going to use lever, but I don't think it really matters. And if it does matter, I'll just change it. Then the idea is you do it a bunch of times, and a bunch of, uh, ugh, why did I do that? TNT gets triggered and falls, and kills all these animals that are over here. That's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Let's get a better look at this mountain. <laughs> So it's pretty, uh, it's not that tall, it's, uh, I think it's 113 at the top, although I might have topped, you know, gotten rid of a couple of them. It's a fairly decent size width-wise. I'll go up, I'm going to try like 10, 20 uh, blocks over the top of it. Wait, I only bought two stacks of these. Eh. <laughs> Maybe only 15 blocks over the top of it. Uh, over here to the side, I'll build out there, build the grid. And you can see it's kind of taller in the middle rather than the edges. They all kind of slope down. Which means I'll put more TNT in the center dispensers than I do in the edge dispensers to try to keep it even. Um, and then I'm sure there'll be some sort of cleanup afterwards. Because I'm not trying to build a giant hole here. I'm just trying to level it off. So we'll see how... Oh, sorry about that. We'll see how that goes. Let's get over here to the side. And, I want to go to this side. Yeah, let's do the middle. Um, some of the things I brought. Um, so, yeah... All the TNT that uh, the sand in that chest would make, so a little over five stacks. Some building blocks, my dispensers, redstone, my button, uh, scaffolding, which would come in handy, and a bucket of water. Now, I brought the bucket of water on the realistic chance that I'm going to somehow get stuck up there with the, you know, the things I use to get up there uh, having been destroyed by TNT. And so I'll just be able to set the bucket against you know one of the blocks that's already up there and just float down. Although there is some water around here, so I might be okay. It looks like there's a cave system over there, too. So that'll be fun to have to deal with. So if I start from here, I get some extra height. And then, yeah, just play, place down all these things and climb to the top. Catch you in a minute. Uh, I think I drastically misjudged how tall this was. <laughs> So the top is at 113. You gotta remember that I started from like the 70s. So I placed these as if I was starting from bedrock. <laughs> hey, look at my village. <laughs> you know, from up here it looks even stupider. <laughs> All laid out, those matching houses everywhere. Oh, the fog's rolling in. So yeah, let me get down to a more realistic height and then build out from there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, this looks a lot better. I kind of want to do the high dive. This could be my death! Whee! I didn't jump. Splash. <laughs> ah, Jesus! <laughs> that squid scared the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> I'm like, I did it! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Uh, all right, I only did this so I could pick up all these I broke. <laughs> I have to climb all the way back up there. <laughs> Things I didn't think about as I planned this, including how do I get a dispenser to aim down if I'm from above? <laughs> so, whoop. Will that be, I doubt that that'll be tall enough, will it? So then, we break that, we break that, I said we break that, we break that, we break that. And boom. That's one. And that's, eh, halfway-ish. Let's put them every five, like four in between, and go out from there. So I'll work out the grid from here and then we'll just kind of expand that out and do this on all of them and then we'll climb up a few more blocks to get to the, I don't know what we'll do. We'll do something cool. <laughs> or we'll keep doing what we're doing. Either way, it works out the same. Uh, I'm going to build a grid and come back. I ended up making a few more dispensers. I think I've got 26 in total. I've got some behind me. So what we're going to do is on every one of these that are in the middle I'm gonna put uh, 16 
TNT on the outside ones um, we'll put in uh, like eight we'll start there and we'll just see how much we have oh good can't be crushed when doing this uh, whoops so yeah let me just go ahead and fill these up and then we'll uh, put the redstone down I also got some repeaters because uh, obviously this is gonna need repeaters to get between them really should have thought about that ahead of time I've been up and down a few times but mostly I've been up here um, I ended up building you can see there's a scaffolding over there so I built above and then now I'm on top just to get them all pointing down so let me fill these up and we'll uh, check back in when that's done all right as the French say here goes nothing did the French say that can't push a button while I was crouching. <laughs> Boom booms. All right, that seems to be going good. Did I miss a spot? I think I missed a spot. Oh well. Boop a doo. I think I clicked it too quickly. And do it again. Am I out? No, I'm not out. Okay, as aggravating as this was to build, though, <laughs> I'm not sure how often I'll be using this for the rest of this series, but it's working pretty well now. So, I'm dealing, I'm liking it. How far down are we? It's hard to tell. Well, we still have the eight, so we're not done with those. There we go. We've just done eight. Nine. Ten. Screenshot. <laughs> okay, we're done. Let's go down and inspect the damage. Well, we made it down to 86 in that spot that had a... Uh, extra I don't I don't know what's going on there um, so I think what we'll do get out of my way is uh, reload the cannon it's called a cannon now it is a cannon did I miss a spot here hmm. uh, but I'm gonna uh, double up the ones on the outside because obviously I could do that and not have a problem um, and then yeah we'll reload it uh, run it through I'm gonna try to uh, maybe go a little bit more um, I don't know how much TNT I let's see what I've got left uh, less than a stack left so that means I used over four stacks not bad not bad for the results so let's uh, get some more TNT reload and fire it off again and see what we get well aside from the fact that I obviously missed the edge of this mountain and then I ran into a stupid underground uh, pond that, you know, killed some of the effectiveness. It's working pretty good. Um, all the way down there. Those two sheep are confusing me. Uh, all the way down there uh, is like level 71, which is, you know, still seven above what I'm going for. And then there's two blocks up here I'm going to have to climb up and get. But it's not bad. Um... I'm going to leave this here for right now. I'll clear out that, get some more um, TNT, maybe expand this out more, take out the rest of this, and uh, really get it torn down. Um, and then once I got all this entire section flattened, then I'll go pull this stuff out because I don't want to lose all my resources. <laughs> I don't have a lot, man. I don't have a lot. Hi, village. Hi, village that survived an accidental, like, Attacked by the pillagers. When did that happen? Look how the colors are. Okay, you can't even see me in here. Anyway, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.